Hey everybody, thanks for checking this out. Today I'm showing off the VR64. These are uh, virtual reality goggles I created for the Commodore 64. I've got a blog about this, um, but I basically started with a cheap plastic uh, uh, VR goggles, uh, modified it, now I have it connected via composite and power into this so that the screen inside this replicates exactly what's displayed on the Commodore screen. So it's got a uh, small 5 inch LCD in there that's replicating uh, the Commodore screen hooked up through the composite signal. Um, so it's going to be a weird video. I don't know how to demo this exactly in 3D. I'll try to put up a, a Google Cardboard version of this. But I've got a game here that I created called Street Defender that uh, that uses this system. So we'll put this in the disk drive and boot this up and talk about this a little bit. We have an Epix fast load cartridge, so it's going faster than the normal disk drive would, but still pretty slow. All right, well, here's the uh, first screen. You can see there's a view on the left for your left eye, a view on the right for your right eye. Uh, this has some text that's uh, stacked uh, evenly spaced, so that will look at a normal depth when you look at it through the VR goggles. I just push spacebar for the next screen. You can see that uh, there's text again at the bottom. Again, those are aligned kind of in the center, so those will appear at the normal distance. But this logo up here, VR64, you can see that it is moved towards the center, both on the left and the right. Um, when you look through the goggles, those uh, because those are moved to the center, they will look like they are sticking out closer to you. And actually this, uh, symbol will look like it's aligned exactly above that. You can see that it's shifted, you know, basically the same distance uh, from uh, above, you know, to the to the center from from the text that's below it. So push spacebar again, loading up a title screen. All right, here's the title screen, uh, Street Defender, and again, this is harder to see, but. Uh, this text here is a little bit closer to Street Defender and it's further here. So when we look at that through the VR goggles, it will look closer to us and centered between those two locations. And same with the uh, music uh, a note there. My buddy Nico did all this uh, funky music for me for this game. So just hit the space bar. We're going to load up the main game here now. So this is the main game. You can zoom around and see uh, all four directions and a diagonal between them. Obviously when you're looking through the VR goggles, you're just seeing one of these views and it is, uh, let me kill some of these guys. It's totally in 3D because uh, you can see here that this section is narrower than this section. So this is this front end is shifted to the center and this end is shifted to the center. So this these are the edges of the buildings. They look closer to you than uh, what's behind there. Let me uh, go over here. Yeah, somebody's killing us. And you can see, let's see when one of these enemies walks down the street at us. He's kind of going towards the center here, and he's going towards the center there. So he's getting closer and closer to us. And only when they get really close to us can they uh, attack us. Uh-oh, I'm going to die here. Got to find that other enemy. He's killing us. Uh, I've been retired, so I died. So that is the VR-64. Uh, the game Street Defender, 
I pretty much believe this is the first virtual reality system for the Commodore 64, the first virtual reality game for the Commodore 64. Um, thank you for viewing and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.